wouldn't be patriotic of me if I wouldn't tell you Shauna names that I would recommend. So I'll give you at least six unique Shona names that I, I feel they are they're, they're so unique and unusual. All right. Mama raised a kid who been stacks one day. All the things she did were for stacks one day. Money, power, and fame, grinding hard, feeling sane. Changes in a day, upgrades in one day. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, this is the Niche Inhabitants. This is the YouTube channel where me and my sisters we share our different life moments, experiences. I personally like to talk about motherhood, pregnancy, and life and becoming a mom. So today I'm going to have a, a very short and nice video about uh, tips on naming a baby and how to name a child and I'll give you my favorite baby names and I would like to interact with you down on the uh, comment section below Tell me about what you think your favorite um, uh, Baby names so that anyone who watches my video can also get ideas on how to name and everything I'll share with you how I name how I came up with my baby's names and I hope you enjoy your journey with motherhood. If you're not a mother yet, recommend a video to your sister, to your mother, to a friend. You know, someone who's pregnant, you no, know, it might help. So let's get straight into it. I am Nina, by the way, an African origin Nina on Instagram. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, I've always been curious. When is the best time to name a child? Like, when should a person think of a, a child's name? Personally, I already know my, <laughs> like, my future kids' names. <laughs> so, I, uh, my point is, uh, naming a child doesn't have to. You don't have to specifically have. A timing others would want to look at the child when they are holding the baby in their arms and they name the child so you can basically name a child anytime in any moment in your life sometimes your pregnancy experience can actually give you an idea of what to name your child because of what you're experiencing whilst you're pregnant you don't actually know the character of your baby or something like that you know so people name their babies for different reasons and at different times, you know. So anytime makes sense to me. All right, let's start with um, my 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 baby's nickname. All right, his nickname is Baby Panda. Uh, it came from him being a junior. Um, when I first met his father, we were so in love. I felt deeply loved I felt protected I was so happy and the cutest pet in him but was perfect for that moment was panda he was my panda bay he was my he was my everything so that's where the name panda came from so because my baby is a junior he automatically became a baby panda make sense Baby panda. And you know how us Africans always come up with these shortcuts with people's names. We've got Rufilwe, they are called Fifi. We've got Fajo for Farai. We've got different names, you know. We've got Koza for Colin. <laughs> so that's how PP came up. Baby panda's shortcut is PP, right? So that's just a nickname. And then we go to the name Junior. The name Junior came from uh, his uncle. Like personally, I didn't think of giving him the name Junior. But the moment I announced to his uncle that um, we were expecting, I was like, oh, finally we've got a Junior. And then 
automatically he became a junior i already had another name for him so i just reserved it for my next baby <laughs> but um uh that's where the junior came from and uh tell me what you think about the name junior when someone is called junior should we put junior in front of their name or should you call them junior and don't put the name like how how does it work like do you really have to write junior in front or you, if you write the name on its own it's fine or you have to write junior on its own for me it's a bit complicated oh and the other thing does a junior uh um, is it possible for a junior to have a second name or if you put a second name it ruins the whole junior idea like I just want your opinion on that but for me I don't really use the name junior with him uh, I don't even use that name on its own I prefer calling him PP because I feel like PP is also junior <laughs> so I want to share with you a uh, fun story about the name junior so this other day we went to to the hospital with junior and the father was doing the registering at the the reception and they asked for the baby's name and was like uh, john junior and then he completely acts as if the middle names they don't exist you should see how proud he does that like he completely calls him Junior without recognizing the other two names. <laughs> he's so proud to have a Junior. I really wish I had a Junior too. Because the way he's like, Junior. And like, yeah, I'm the senior. I'm like, okay, that's not what we're here for. Just tell them the baby's name. Actually, the baby's names. He's not just Junior. He's got other <laughs> names. But yeah, it's cute to, to know that someone actually appreciates having a Junior name so i was given the first letters by the father as well he was like okay the first letter should be l and d besides the junior so i already had letters so i had to find names around okay my favorite favorite south african language is isisutu i love isisutu like i really want to learn isisutu i love it so I went for an Isisutu name, an Isisutu name, uh, which is Litabo. Litabo means happiness. Uh, I'm sure I'll easily translate it to Mufaro or Rufaro. Yes, I just love, uh, just love Litabo. And it's so funny how Litabo compliments my child. He's a happy baby. It's just, yeah, he brings so much happiness to us. And then we've got the D name. It's Jew. Jew. It's a very rare name, but I really uh, liked it because of the fact that it meant something. I felt like we felt like Jew um, was Jew to us. We were expecting him. He was. It was time for us to have a, a, a junior. So. He was Jew to us, so his name is Costa Jew Litabo. So, mm. so his initials are C D L M, right? Okay. Now to the baby naming tips. Before you name a child, you really have to 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 thoroughly think about it because this will be the baby's identity. Wherever they go, they are going to call the baby. By that name and you have to think of the impacts behind the name so first and foremost you have to think about the name thoroughly for example giving a baby someone's name others believe um, um, it it carries the whole nature of the other person onto the baby so you would uh, you wouldn't want your baby to have the character of someone who's not um, good person i don't know but um yeah, me too i would want my baby to 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 do the bad things that his daddy <laughs> does or did but for the good things well i don't mind seeing my baby being as hard working as his father you know but the other things eh, 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 don't tell him i say that <laughs> Okay, you have to research about the name let the name be meaningful to you and the baby like 
the name has to have a meaning it has to have a bit of value it has to uh, you can actually think of culture it has to have some link with your culture if you can like you you still have to continue with the roots with your roots don't throw away your roots but you don't have to be too traditional as well just try and find an, a way of incorporating your roots so as for me i wasn't really looking for a name uh, from my origin but i wanted something that was african so i went for the table okay you have to contemplate all possible pronunciation for your baby's name like try and pronounce the name yourself and think of someone else who's just reading it maybe the teacher how they're going to pronounce that name because sometimes you actually get angry when you find someone else calling your child you know so you have to be yeah and sometimes uh, you find out that if that name is called in another way it may be vulgar so really think about the name before you actually and others would actually look at the initials you'd find if you put someone's initials there will be some like a double s <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say so watch out for the initials but for me i wouldn't be looking at the initials it's something okay it's not really necessary for me last but not least don't be too traditional with uh, naming a child be flexible start your own name create your own name as long as it, you know what you're doing like you know how to explain it to your child why they name that you know so okay. i'm inspired by the way the smiths i don't know the smith the smiths named their children like the way jade named the boy Jaden the boy the boy the girl was named Willow like that was so cool like to date I would do that with my kids names like naming them after the parents but with a twist that was so cool Jaden and Willow from Will and Jade wow it's so nice uh, uh, that's timeless I really like the way they were so creative with that you can go for a name combiner uh, there are so many name combiners on, on, on the internet there's so many name combiners on the internet and then um, you can just type you and your partner's name there and then they, to show you so many possible names for example I came up with uh, Margaret and Bilal and then I got Maga Bilal, <laughs> that's too big, but you get what I'm trying to say. We've got Mao, it's a nice name. We've got Milal, that's nice, or Mila on its own. We've got Marilal, so that's those are like you come up with your name, it's something that has never been heard of, or something that just it's a combination, like the same way your child is a combination of both of you. So, I'll definitely recommend that, and then. We go for another way would be rhyming uh, names that are rhyming like my little sister's name is Charmaine Chantel it's actually one name but who oh, you wouldn't easily think of such a name from nowhere so you'd go for Charmaine Chantel you get my point okay so it has to bring a rhyme and it also has to rhyme with the same name if you can go for that sometimes so rhyming makes sense you can also look at your family tree your family tree if if you if everyone in your family has a name which starts with the t why not continue with that tradition and also start with the t like look at all those things all those factors like or if everyone in your family had um christian names or biblical names then you can also go along with that as well. If, okay, now I've told you the tips of naming a child and then I'll give you my favorite name, my personal favorite names that I'm not going to use. But, alright. My top, top favorite name would be Summer. I love the name Summer. It's so, like, you can even give it a twist. Summerberry, you see? I love the name Summer. Like, I'll make sure that one of my nieces carries the name Summer. Like, I really want a baby girl to be named 
summer i feel like summer is a nice name and then uh i've seen the name ari or ariella populating lately it's so beautiful to me like sounds like a cute baby ari my name is ari ariella it's it's just nice it's more like a shortcut for gabriella but it's modern it's nice i like the name ari i would recommend the name ari and then this one, I got it from my mom when she thought I was having a baby girl. She wanted my baby to be called Isla. And I fell for it. It's so resistible. Irresistible. It's, it's a beautiful name. Isla. Even the spelling is nice. I-S-L-A. It's a nice spelling for a baby name. Isla. My name is Isla. You see? Cool name right there. And we've got them. Like, uh... I, I really like those names like they are they've got this exotic feeling with them like I'll give you those names like there's Kai Cairo Kenya and Canada and they all start with K those are really 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 extremely cool names like like I, I just think they um out of the box my name is kai oh my name is kenya and you think it's a country but wow my name is canada with a k not to see wow and kai those are really cool names guys really cool cairo from egypt to cairo but k with a k the k is the deal and i think they are very nice names and we go back to isisutu my favorite language i've always always liked the name nail like i think it's a shortcut for the nail it means flower very nice name nail kia i like the shortcut the full name is kia but um it's more like we are blessed if i'm not mistaken oh god it means god given kia god given kia my name is kia all right and then it wouldn't it wouldn't be patriotic of me if i wouldn't tell you shona names that i would recommend so i'll give you at least six unique shona names that i, I feel they are they're, they're so unique and unusual all right first i'll give you the name awia you call your child awia ninyasha awia nashe Awea. You just put something. Awea means he or she came. So it on its own, it's okay. You can always edify. Awea netiti. Awea. Like I feel like Awea is a nice and unique name, and the spelling is beautiful. A U Y A. Sounds like an Asian name. <laughs> okay, and then we've got Chidiwa. Chidiwa. I feel like it's very deep. A strong name which means adorable adorable all right and we've got um kura nashe may the lord be with you all grow with the lord before be with the lord forevermore kura nashe i like it it's not usual and then we've got waishe the uh the one for the lord the lord's one and we've got wataida the one that we wanted and we've got Iyanai. I really don't know the meaning, but I feel like it's nice. It's short and sweet. Iyanai. I think it means togetherness or be together or love each other. I don't know, but I like it. Iyanai. And we've got Nguva Yake. So it's God's time. Nguva. I like those names because they are unusual. They are. They are, you don't go everywhere and find Ngoba, you know, and we've got Zua. I find those names very unique and deep as well, like it's proper Shona, but um, they've got this depth for me personally. I really like those Shona names. They're not the usual names that we get in Shona. So we've got those ones. Now I'll tell you the ones that um, really found wow do those names exist and they do like okay and you easily misspell them in an english way okay so those are the ones there's ta'anashe 
like ta anashe we we now have god like the lord is now here ta anashe so you can call your child ta shortcut or nashe it's just so cool and then we've got tayana 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 like we are now whole we are now whole so tayana Taya, my name is Taya. So cool, right? And then we've got Nani, so Nani, so it's more like um, we have been made better. Nani, so like amazing. I think something that edifies. So Nani, so yes. And then we've got Kandeya. Kandeya means the circle keeps going. And then it just simply sound like Zandeya when it's Kandeya, you know. So I like those names because they've got this American feeling, but they are still Shona. Like I really, really love them. If I had the opportunity to call my child with these names, I'll is I'll definitely go for those ones. And then we've got Aita Ishe. We can eat the shortcut would be Aita. Aita Ishe. My name is Aita. You see, it's so nice, right, guys? Aita Ishe. And then we've got Tamira Nashe. Tami. What is Tami Moya's full name? I don't know, but Tamira Nashe. Tamira on its own is a name, but we want to make it deep. Tamira Nashe, you know? Tamira Naye, you know? And um, last but not least, we've got Yevedzo. Yeve. Yevedzo. Like something that is. Uh, beautiful something that is attractive yeah the best way would be attractive it's attractive you easily want to keep looking at it so it's yeah that's all like shiny it's more like it's attracting you all right so for shona names i'll definitely recommend those ones and i got those shona names from baby name cube.com like for the shona names i re i would recommend that one okay and i've got um enough of the shona names i'll give you three more names three more names that are not shona that i just found on the internet that i was like what do th these names exist but i want you guys to get the best of your baby's birth certificate right <laughs> okay i'll go for my cousin she's got her daughter and she's named zante it's a beautiful name, I think. It's an X. It starts with an X. So imagine my name is Zante. Zante. It's nice. Like it's an it's not an everyday name. My name is Zante. And it starts with an X. So I like the, the fact that it's not an everyday name. Alright. And then I found this name. It's a celebrity baby's name. It's called XL. And the spelling is A-X-L. Oh, your child will be the first one to write the name in class when they start kindergarten. They will write A-X-L. They are done. <laughs> so if you've got a long ass name, I would easily recommend an, a name XL for a boy. You know? And then I did see, like, this one I found it interesting. I, I don't know if I'm recommending it, but I found the name Cash cash like money yeah it's a celebrity baby name it's called cash i'm like okay cash i've never heard this one cash tell me what you think about the name cash thank you so much for watching our youtube channel thank you so much for watching my video tell me what you think about the baby names and recommend your, your favorite baby names as well and tell me which baby name that you like thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and recommend my videos to anyone who's expecting i love you guys thank you so much for your support yes mina as promised this is my yoga journey i'm just showing you some shoulder stretches and i found this one very interesting this is more about being flexible